How's it going guys? Welcome back to another video. My name's Dice, and in this video I'm going to be explaining to you guys how anyone in any rank can use these tips I'm about to give you to rank up in Rocket League. Now a lot of people think that ranked, there's going to be, you know, certain specific things everyone can work on to rank up, while that's not specifically the case, because everyone has their own unique play style. Like if I grab five random champs, I can almost guarantee you that those five champs would need help in completely different areas. Maybe one of those five is really good at rotation. Maybe one is really good at mechanics. Maybe one is really good at game sense. You know, there's just like a lot of different things. Maybe one's really good at shooting. Maybe one's really good at aerial control, but you know, but they all have their own strengths and weaknesses. So this video isn't specifically geared towards people. It's just going to be general advice that I've given to a lot of people I've coached and that once they applied this advice, they ranked up a lot because a lot of people have general weaknesses in their gameplay. So yeah, let's get into it. So the very first one is looking at your teammates too much, right? Now this one can be a little bit controversial because a lot of people, it's kind of like a habit, I want to say, to just blame teammates for goals and a lot of the time our teammates made mistakes, sure, but at the same time, we could have done something better as well. Like maybe your teammate was in a 1v1 and he got scored on and he missed an easy save in a 1v1. Sure, maybe it might look like that's his fault and it might be, but at the end of the day, you left him in that 1v1, right? So I would kind of say it's your fault as well if you left him in a 1v1 and then he lost the 1v1 because realistically any 1v1 in rocket league should be scored by the person on attack it's just it's pretty much a free goal for anyone that's decent at least um, i mean all they have to do is they can literally go for anything in air drill bump not defendable flick whatever um so no flip reset so there's a lot of options they can do and it should be a free goal for the person on attack so if they're even in that situation in the first place I would venture to say that that's the person who left them in the 1v1's fault. And that's the same thing with the 1v2. If someone's left in a 1v2, I would still say it's the person who left them in a 1v2. I would say it's their fault because, you know, they threw themselves out of the play and left their teammate alone, which the whole point of 2v2 or 3v3 is to play as a team. So, yeah, that's the first one is just to not focus too much on your teammate because a lot of the time you'll take the blame off of you and just say oh i lost because of my teammate and then that's how you stop yourself from improving in rocket league is by not realizing the mistakes that you're making and obviously analyzing your own mistakes is the quickest way to rank up that's in anything not just rocket league if you play sports you watch your own film you see okay where am i messing up how are they getting points whatever whatever on to the second tip not using your free play time wisely a lot of people me included i've been guilty of this they'll just go in free play before ranked like to warm up and they're warming up things that they don't even do in game like let's say someone's a very like grounded player in ranked but in free play they're going for like flip reset musties they're going for like air dribbles they're going for triple flip resets but they don't play like that at all in their actual ranked games and so what happens is they go into ranked not warmed up because they didn't warm up the mechanics they actually do. They didn't practice any of the flicking that they usually do. They didn't practice any dribbling that they usually do. They didn't practice any shooting. And so the only thing they've warmed up is their flip resets and their air mechanic, which they're not even going to use. So that's the same thing as not warming up in the first place. So the advice I would give to that is to just look how you play. And though it, it, it is fun to practice like air mechanics, you should be practicing how you play. Right, so if you're an air-based player, sure, practice in the air. But if you're a ground-based player that their play style is just, you know, going for flicks and dribbles and shots on the ground, you should be doing those on the ground in your free play. Make sure to use your free play time wisely, otherwise you're just gonna be wasting time. There's a lot of players I know that are insane in free play and they're trash and ranked, and that's because they don't play ranked how they play free play. So all the mechanics they learned, they're kind of just pointless. On to the third tip, I would say to not play too much ranked. Now this is definitely the most controversial take in this entire video. But in my opinion, I feel like too much ranked can actually be harmful because there's this saying that a lot of people use quality over quantity, right? If you play 10 really high quality ranked games and you know, you're really thinking through everything, you have really good rotation, really good ball control, you're really thinking about all of your decision making, 
opposed to having 40 rank games where you're just like driving aimlessly you're just trolling kind of you're not really doing anything i would say that the first 10 games have much more value in your actual improvement of rocket league than the 40 or 30 games or whatever i said because it's not really going to make you improve if you're just aimlessly driving around going for random mechanics on to the next tip tip number four I would suggest against solo queuing, and I know that may sound like I'm being a little bit hypocritical with my advice, like don't blame your teammates, but if you have a solo queue teammate you can trust, you can play so much more confident, first of all, because you have at least a little bit of faith in your teammate. First of all, you can play more confident, which means you're going to play better. Second of all, if you have good chemistry, you'll be able to score more goals. Third of all, if you have comms from your teammate, then that means that you know more about the game than you would normally. And so you can have different positions that you would normally have. Like maybe you think, oh, I wonder if my teammate is going to go for this ball. I'll just sit and wait and find out. Opposed to him saying, I'm going for it, or you can go for it, or I'm faking or something like that. So I think playing with someone is a really good way to help you rank up and also a, a way to help you with comms. Because you have to think about it. What is the end game? You know, do you want to be a pro? If so, if you want to be a pro in Rocket League, you are going to need to comm. If you want to be good at six man, you need to comm. Do you want to be SSL? You have to understand the game at a pretty deep level to be SSL in Rocket League, in my opinion. And the last tip I'm going to give you guys is just to enjoy what you're doing, right? If you play Rocket League and you legit just hate every second of what you're doing, you're not going to improve, first of all, because you hate it. It's kind of like school, right? At least for me and a lot of people I know, that the people that were always the best were people that enjoyed the classes, I feel like. Like people that just hate and dread every second of doing something, they're not going to be very good at it because they just want to get out of there as quick as possible. If you play ranked games and it feels like a chore, don't play ranked games. You know, enjoy Rocket League. That's how, you know, people end up quitting the game is because they do things that they hate. You know, like people just being forced to play ranked games, people being forced to do this, forced to do that. Rocket League's a game at the end of the day, and so you should be enjoying what you're doing. And yeah, that's all I have in this video. If you guys found this helpful at all, please be sure to leave a like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. It really does go a long way. See you all in the next one. Peace.